Hello everybody, this is Rook, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk About. Now, before we get into it, yes, this is a new room. I've started to try to record in a smaller room, a little more secluded, rather than the large space I was using. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little room. It's a little bit quieter, a little bit more focused on what I can do. A little bit more personal, as I have my personal effects in here. So... Today, we'll be discussing my favorite weapons in Halo Combat Evolved. Now, a little background on this. A friend of mine recently acquired the Master Chief Collection, which is, as you know, Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as ODST and Spartan Ops. We've been playing through all of the subsequent Halo games, and we're on Halo 4 at the time of recording. So, I decided to take the experience that I had, the time that I had, and just go back and uh, reiterate what my favorite weapons from all of the Halo games were individually, because I think there are far too many good weapons in Halo to cover in a single episode of just blanket statement favorite Halo weapons. Uh, so these are the weapons that are my favorite, not necessarily the ones that I use the most. For example, the pistol, as a little spoiler, the pistol is not on the Combat Evolved favorite list because while I use it all the time and it's a great gun, I don't love using it like I love using some of the other weapons. You know, th these are weapons that I personally love to use whenever I, I go out of my way to get them, you know. It's just something that I love. So my favorite weapons are not the weapons I use the most. Otherwise, the battle rifle, all these would be on the list every single time. So... For Halo Combat Evolved, there are so few weapons in the game, I only have a top three, and then two honorable mentions. We'll start with the honorable mentions. The first one is the Plasma Pistol. Now, I've played Halo Combat Evolved since I was six. If you've seen my overview of Halo video, you understand my long history with Halo Combat Evolved. When I was six years old, the first Covenant weapon I ever ran into was the Plasma Pistol. I loved its aesthetic in the original Halo 1 graphics. I loved the sounds it made. I loved the overcharge feature. And I, in my little six-year-old brain, it was always like, I don't need a flashlight. I have an overcharged Plasma Pistol. It was just a really, really fun cool weapon that I'll still use. It's like the only Halo game where it's offensively viable to use a plasma pistol, um, to, like on its own. But I love using the plasma pistol. It's just fun. And the, the classic sound, like I wish they'd kept the original sound and design for Halo 5 when moving down the Halo series, it got progressively worse and worse. Now in Halo 5, it's viable as anti-vehicle weapon, but, uh, in Comet Evolved, it's just great. Um, the next honorable mention I have for you guys is the Plasma Rifle. Now, this gun is on the list because I enjoy using it. It is satisfying to use, but also because it's, uh, you know, a functionally, functionally the best weapon in the game all around. That's, uh, you know, I enjoy using it, but it's also functional. That's why it's an honorable mention and not on the top three. So, the Plasma Rifle has the longest range of any automatic weapon. It does not require reload if you time your uh, shots right. It can go full automatic, but the weapons for the, the, the shots for the Plasma Rifle are projectile. So, they have longer range and better accuracy than the Hitscan Assault Rifle. If you've ever fought on the library, or you've ever had to fight Covenant at long distance, if you've randomly picked up a Plasma Rifle and start, like, one-shotting it at the enemies, just take a individual shots or burst fire, you'll understand that the plasma rifle is exceptionally long-range. It is mid to long-range combat it's good at, and then if enemies get close, you can whip out some other weapon. But the plasma rifle is extremely versatile, and it's very good at killing Flood. It packs quite a punch against the Flood uh, when you use it against them, so I prefer to use the plasma rifle all the time. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great backup weapon or even, you know, non-backup weapon if you want to have a little bit of an extra range on you. I call it the, the rifle of, of Halo Combat Evolved. It is really that good halfway point. Now, on to the top three. Number three, the Needler. Another gun from my childhood. When I first ran across this weapon, I was like, okay, it shoots pink needles that stick in things and explodes. And you're telling me if I load the full clip into somebody, they explode three times? I was sold. When I was six years old, I was I was sold on the idea of a needler. So ever since, you know, Halo has been a thing, I've always loved using the needler. In fact, in the later videos on uh, 
each of the games, you'll figure out that it's on some of the other lists too. It's just the Needler is incredible and Halo 1 was its inception. I'll never get tired of the rapid fire needles you get in Halo Combat Evolved. And I think my, one of my happiest memories was uh, the silent cartographer when you're running down and you have uh, that room full of two, two hunters and a bunch of jackals. I got behind one of the hunters, loaded him up with a full clip of needles, and he went boom, boom, boom. Like, it threw him into the air, and he exploded three times and hit the floor. And I was just like, ah, it's viable. I can use this. So occasionally, especially when we're fighting the Flood, I'll pick up uh, a needler. I remember I played, like I said, with my friend who's never played Halo before. We were fighting through the library. He got all the shotguns. I wanted the needlers. I got all the needlers to, you know, help him out, and especially with the... Uh, with the flood pure forms that explode, uh, I needled them to death. And it, it's, it's very, very good against the flood and strong covenant. But at the same time, it, it's the needler. It's kind of a meme weapon. You know, you, you use it to have fun. And the needler is definitely just absolute fun in Halo Combat Evolved. Now, number two, the assault rifle. Now, the assault rifle is one of the most common weapons in the game. It's the second weapon you get. And ammo for it is everywhere. And the main reason that I like the assault rifle is the exact reason why they changed to the SMG in Halo 2. You're pretty much walking around with a, a light machine gun that has infinite ammo. You can get hold up to 600 rounds. That's 10 extra clips with the assault rifle. And when you're fighting the flood and stuff, you're likely going to run into more of them holding assault rifles. So you'll virtually never run out of ammo with it. And you'll just melt everything in front of you. Now, the damage per shot of the assault rifle, like, it takes, like, half of its clip or more to kill an elite. But if you want a single weapon that says, here, take this, walk forward, pull the trigger. Like, if you want a WM1 weapon, as PC players say, if there's a weapon you can just equip walk forward and melt. That's the assault rifle. It's just so much fun to walk up to a room full of grunts, like five or six grunts, and just go and just melt them all. It's just so much fun. It's, it's, it's a great and satisfying weapon to use. So the assault rifle is number two for me just because of how prevalent it is. And it's still really good. It's a good gun. Now, get to number one in Halo Combat Evolved. My favorite weapon is the shotgun. Now, when my friend first got this shotgun and figured out what it was, I told him, because there was ammo everywhere, I told him, hey, hold down the trigger. It is a, I don't even know how many gauge, fully automatic, death-dealing machine. The, the shotgun reloads so fast, and there's usually, if you're playing single player, so much ammo for it that the shotgun just melts everything. If you're playing on like Heroic or Legendary and you get access to a shotgun, first off, it's not the best because it's a very close range, but it can break an elite shields in a single shot or it can kill them in a single shot if it's an elite miner, one of the blue ones. Uh, it's just so satisfying. And they gave it to you very late in the game, a very good decision on my, in my mind uh, because it just melts everything. It melts Flood in a single shot or you can wipe out an entire doorway of Flood just by holding down the trigger on the shotgun. There's usually a good amount of ammo for it, not a lot, but like, you know, enough to keep you going. Uh, and it just goes flick, 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 flick for the reload. You can reload four shots in about one and a half seconds. It's just so... And the sound for it as well. The sound is just like, boom, ch -ch -ch, boom, ch -ch -ch. it's that classic. And I'm, I'm really glad that they eventually, like, nerfed it as much as they did. Because, like, in Halo 2, it's got slower fire rate. Halo 3, it's, it's you know, much worse. Halo 4 and Halo 5, I think, have the best iteration of the shotgun as far as competitive viability is concerned. But Halo 1 has the most fun version of the shotgun ever. You just boom, and you can fire off so many of those rounds into the flood. Melt elites, groups of grunts, jackals don't stand a chance. Hunters even can't take a point-blank shot from the shotgun. So... Really, those those weapons are some of my favorites. You know, in, in the library, I will run around with a shotgun and plasma rifle when I'm finding Covenant all assault rifle needler. Of course, I like I said, I use the pistol, but it's not one of my favorites. But uh, yeah, that's Halo Combat Evolved. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next slew of videos. I'm doing every single Halo game minus ODST because that game was based more on tactics than anything else. But I will see you guys in the next video.